channel. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to swap two strings. Okay? If you know how to swap two integers, it will be a very easy program for you. Okay? So in this program, I'm going to use uh, another header file. So first, stdio.h and so my main. Sorry, main and uh, so I will declare a character I and mean, uh, two strings as soon let me take uh, index 10 and uh, s2 and index 10 and a temporary string okay a temporary string t okay so if I have my s1 maybe s1 equal to so if I have given my uh, string 1 as maths and the string 2 as English, I should swap as my S1 should be English, I mean S1 should be English and S2 should be maths. So this is what I want, this is my intention. So first I will scan, uh, before scanning let me write a message to the user, okay, so enter two strings. Okay, after that I will scan as I am using uh, a string, my format specifier is percentage s, okay, and my s1 and s2, as it is a string, I don't, I, I, there is no need to use ampersand, okay, there is no need to use ampersand here, okay, and after that what I want to do, uh, if you are not sure with the logic, if you don't know how to swap two integers, let me just uh, tell you what is the logic. My t is something, uh, some uh, string. So what I would do is, first I will store this maths to this string. So this maths, and after that, this maths I will store to this string, that is s2, and s2 will be now, this is a previous value, this is s2 will be, my, now, now what is my S2 is maths, okay? That means I am uh, giving my S2 value, I mean my T value to S2, okay? And after that, after that what I would do is, sorry, sorry. So first what I, would, I have done, I have done in this step what I have done is, I have given my uh, S1 to T, right? I have given my... Uh, s1 value to t so that my t value will become max and after that my next step is i will i will give my s1 value to s2 right so my s1 value is max okay so my uh, i mean I, I am i am giving my s2 value to s1 i am giving my s2 value to s1 so that my s2 value is english my S1 value will change to, in this step, my S1 value will change to English, okay? So, after this step, third step, what I would do is, I will uh, write now my S2 value, that means I am giving my T value to S2, T value to S2, what is my T? T is maths, S2 is English, now my S2 will become maths, okay? Uh, yes so what i have done in the first step i am giving my s1 value i am giving my s1 value to t so that my t will become maths so in my step second step i am giving s2 value to s1 so that my uh, s1 value will become uh, this will be striking off and my s1 value will become english and after that i am giving t value to s2 okay t value to s2 t value is maths and S2 value is uh, replaced with maths, okay? This is the logic how you should swap, uh, anything you should swap using uh, another variable, temporary variable. So, this is how you should swap. So, in this video, I will use a string function that is string copy, strcpy, okay? This is another thing, strcpy, okay? So, I have, uh, let me... Okay, this is uh, one. 
and as I said I should copy strcpy string copy function string copy function destination so how a string copy function syntax is first destination and then comma source so from from where you are going to copy and to which location you are copying this is the syntax for this is the syntax for strcpy right so what i want to do i want to copy my S, s1 value to p so what is my source in this case in this case my uh, my destination is t i want to copy to t from where i want to copy from s1 i want to copy so this is uh, this is destination and this is source so my str cp will have t comma s1 right so after that again i'm copying str cpy so again source and destination in this case in this step what is the source source is S two. My source is S two, and destination from S two. I I am giving English, so I should copy this English to S one. So my source is S two, and destination is S one. So S one comma S two, right? So again, again the same thing. So now I am giving my T value to S two. So my destination is uh, uh, I mean source is T. And my destination is S two. This is how uh, you should copy. And uh, let me print, print. Let me print just percentage S and percentage S S one comma S two. Let me give a uh, more spaces. Okay. So let me print here backslash in. So next line. Mm, let me print another message. After swapping, if you want, you can add um, this unnecessary stuff. So here I can print. So after scanning, I will print whatever print printf. Before swapping. For swapping, what is my percentage s and percentage s with a lot of space and over here backslash n. So you can okay. So this is actually the major part is over, but uh, I will bet you that you will get an error. Definitely you will get an error. So uh, I will say why that is also okay. Okay, definitely you will get an error. So what is the error is? I have not. Uh, what is my strcp? Strcp is a function which is in the header file string. Dot. So as include string dot h header file. So what is my error? My error is I don't found. What is the function? What is the function you are using? So I am using a function in the header file string dot h. So that is my error. So let me execute. So another error is okay. <laughs> okay, let me execute. So enter two strings. Let me enter king quota. So I'm not getting the output. Ah, uh, yeah. I have used backslash n in this scanner. So yeah, now I will get a output. So my strings are king and the quota. So yeah, King Coda and Coda King. This is my YouTube channel. So yes, before swapping, this is S1 and this is S2, and after swapping, this is S1 and this is S2. Okay. So if you are uh, good at swapping two numbers, integers, I mean, uh, it is very easy program for you. I have not, I have done nothing. I have used an extra strcpy. If you don't want to use strcpy, there is another chance you can write a for loop. For loop for which uh, each element of S1, each element of S1, you will copy with a T. 
each element of this S2 you will copy with S1 and each element of this T you will copy to S S2 okay so you should write the three for loops okay if you don't want to use this str CTL function there is also another chance that I, uh, but uh, you should write the three for loops where each element you should copy each element of S1 to P each element of S2 to S1 and each element of P to S2 so which is a time taking process so you uh, it is better to use str CTL function Okay, th uh, this is the um, program. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it, comment and subscribe. If you have any doubt, uh, drop it down it on the comment box and uh, thank you for watching this video.